Hey guys, this is Shuman from AAC Technical. Today I'm going to show you an advanced solution to avoid an error message which may occur due to low storage space during update to the latest Windows 10 version 1903. And before you upgrading to the latest version, I will suggest you see the detailed information about Microsoft's minimum hardware requirements for their latest Windows 10 version 1903. However, in order to fix that issues, you will need to free up space manually so that you can keep your PC up to date and running smoothly. This is one of the easiest solution for this problem. But if there is no way to free up space because your PC has lots of important data and it is running very low on free space, then you might not be able to install important Windows updates and your PC's performance may be affected and may be stuck during update. So in order to fix that issue, you will need to increase the system drive space from another drive's free space. Now let's see how it can be done successfully. At first let me show you from Windows Explorer. As you can see this PC system drive has enough free space because I have faced this problem and that's why I have done this job before. Now I will do that again only to show you. At first go to Windows Disk Management. Next, you need to create an unallocated space from another drive's free space, which will be extended with the system drive. Now, right click on that drive from which you want to take unallocated space. Next, click on shrink. Now, open the calculator and let's calculate from GB to MB format. Here, I want to extend 100 GB with system drive, so I have to shrink 100 GB for unallocated space. Now let me calculate. For example, as you know, 1 GB is equal to 1024 MB. So 100 GB is equal to 102400 MB as you can see. Now type the amount of space in MB format which you want to shrink for unallocated space. Next click on shrink. Ok, as you can see that 100 GB unallocated space has been created. Now we have to extend this unallocated space with the system drive. To do this, you first need to bring this unallocated space beside the system drive. But unfortunately, it cannot be done here because Windows set some limitation to their program. To do this job, you need to download Easiest Partition Master software. Download link given in the description below. I have already installed so I just open it. As you can see, it's graphical user interface. This is the best disk management software for Windows. Ok, this is the unallocated space which was created in Windows Disk Management. Now you have to move this unallocated space beside the system drive. Just follow me to do that. Now I just right click on this D drive. Next click on resize and move partition. Now click and hold down this partition and just drag this partition from before side to after side of this unallocated space as you can see. Now just click on OK. Next click on execute operation button. Now just click on apply to save changes. Please do nothing. This might take several minutes so be patient. Ok I am going to fast forward this boring part.
all right as you can see the message the operation is completed and all the operations are successful now just click on finish now close the users partition master next go to windows disk management now just extend this unallocated space with the system drive right click on system drive then extend volume now click on next next and finish that's it now you can see the system drive has increased now close all tabs and just restart once After rebooting, run the defragment and optimize drives utility from Windows administrative tools. Now select all the drive and click on optimize all. If you want, you can skip this defragment and optimize procedure, but note it is highly recommended when you made any changes with your hard disk and data. For detailed information, you can see the tutorial link in the description below. However, now let me show you the system drive from Windows Explorer. Yeah done, as you can see the system drive space has increased. Now you can update your Windows 10 to the latest Windows 10 version 1903 and also your latest Windows 10 version 1903 is now ready to receive latest quality updates. So we hope this video was helpful for you, of course let us know your opinion. If you have any questions then please let us know, please like, comment, share, we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.